won its lawsuit against the SEC. So what does this mean? Well, it means that XRP and cryptocurrencies are not a security. That was the big complaint. Once that uh, was finished, XRP shot up. Oh, man, it had like a 40% jump in hours. Um, and XLM, I think, uh, boosted as well. We're going to see some, it'll, there's a little bit of gyrations going on there. It'll, it, you know, might settle down a little bit. But I have a feeling that some of these, in particular, like the XRP, XLM stuff, may begin to really take a lift uh, as the bank apocalypse comes into full force. And what I mean by bank apocalypse is a couple of things. I want to cover a little bit of that today because I, I follow this stuff, being, you know, having been in banking. Goldman Sachs announced its quarterly earnings were down 58%. Not only did they not make a profit, they were down 58%. This was massive. And a lot of that was tied into commercial real estate holdings that are just starting to take a bloodbath. Um, Bank of America, um, Wells Fargo facing massive uh, commercial banking losses. This is uh, commercial properties, uh, office buildings, um, even retail, and uh, it's affecting all of them. So what's happened is Bank of America has now set aside $847 million to try to cover the next quarter of losses. It's pretty big, but not to be outdone, but are outdone. Wells Fargo set aside $900 million plus to try to cover their losses. And Chase was even worse. They had to put aside $1.2 billion to try to cover their losses. And they announced that in the last 12 months, $200 billion in deposits have left Chase Bank. This is huge, folks. We have the makings of of a banking apocalypse unlike anything we've ever seen in our lives. So I hope you're making plans, uh, moving assets into real things and uh, real stuff because you're going to want to be holding something real when the dust settles here. Um, it, I don't know how bad it's going to get, but it's this is going to make 2008 and nine look like child's play. Okay. When the old system comes down, it will come down completely. This is going to be the death of the Federal Reserve System. So you can imagine that it's bad. It, it will be. But it has to die if we're going to have a future, if we're going to have a new currency, if we're going to have something that's that uh, magnifies us and, and, and launches us forward into a beautiful future. So those are things that are going on right now. One of the things to watch is when it comes to financial stuff, Germany is on the uh, just a trigger edge of complete financial collapse. They are not saying anything about this, but they are in big trouble. Uh, Deutsche Bank, big trouble. Uh, we already saw what happened with Credit Suisse. They got swallowed up. Um uh, and, and the Swiss government even had to step in and back everything up, you know, to, to, to make this deal workable to take out Credit Suisse. Guys, the, the, there's a lot of toxic things going on in the banking system in Europe. And it looks like Germany and France economies are about to implode. Um, when they do, and I think it's a certainty, it, it will eventually happen. Once that happens, I think you're going to see a series of dominoes that's going to, within hours, move to Canada, move to the United States, uh, stock market losses, everything else going on. So there's going to be a lot of, it's going to be rough, okay? I, I don't want to sugarcoat this. Uh, this is not going to be anything like we're not used to seeing. This is why we say, hey, Get some water, get some food, you know, have some metals, have a little cash, have something on the hand. Because when this begins to hit, the first thing that will happen is all credit will freeze up. Well, what does that mean? I mean, suddenly your plastic doesn't work anymore. Your debit cards, your credit cards, they're going to be done. Okay. And, and that's just the consumer level. 
on the corporate or, or commercial side, it means all these credit lines with these big companies suddenly freeze. Well, every truckload delivered to your local grocery store is is delivered on a credit line. So you can imagine there's going to be some disruptions in that. That's why I just, you know, stock up, do what you can. I realize not everybody's in a position to be, you know, ready for three months worth of supplies, but get what you can. They're going to try to make this as short-lived as possible. I think we're looking at maybe three weeks on the outside, okay? Hopefully it's only a week to two weeks, okay? Um, of, of challenges or difficulties as we move through that. Because once the old system is declared dead, now we can introduce new currency and, and that will be the opportunity where people can then bring, go to their bank, exchange their money for the new currency, and we get everything back on track. And it, it really won't take that long to get back on track, but we're going to have to go through the, the death nail regardless. There's just no way around.